Now let's understand about the map filter and radius in a Python. So it is an important topic and it will help you in your coding also. So instead of writing a multiple line of code to get the same result with the help of map filter and radius, you can get the same result in a single line itself. So let's understand when actually we use a map filter and radius one by one. So let's start with the map. Whenever you have to apply a function to the all the element, let's take one use case. Suppose when you need to modify all the element in the list, convert to uppercase or square the number. Suppose this list is given. Now suppose your requirement is like whatever the element is present in the given list, you want to do a square. Means all the element you want to apply a some function, then we use a map function. So how map function works? First you have to write a map and after that you have to pass the function name after that you have to pass the list so let's create one uh, function first what this function will do it will do a squaring so what i will write i am creating one function def square it will take a input n and what actually it will return it will return the square like this now suppose i will pass one number how actually i can call if i write square and the 5 and if i will execute what actually it is doing it is doing a square of the 5 and I am getting the output as a 25. So we have created a one function. What this function is doing? It is doing a square of the given number. Now my requirement is like in all the element I want to apply the this function means all the element I want to do a square. So if you have a requirement where you want to modify all the element in the given list then you can use a map function. So how actually map function works? You have to write a map. You have to pass the function name. What is my function name? Square is the function name. And I want to apply this into all the element in the given list. So list you have to pass. Now what actually I will do if I execute this. You can see it is creating one object. But I want output in the form of list. Right? So I will write a list. And if I execute. You can see what actually it does. All the element right. 1 square 1, 3 square 9, 4 square 16, I am getting the output. So, what actually we have done, we have created one function and we have one function. What this function does, it does the square of the given number. But in a list, we have a multiple elements, right? So, all the elements I want to apply this particular function. So, what actually I can use, I can use a, a map function. This map function will apply all the element in the given list and it will do the squaring because square is the function we are passing so instead of if you will not use a map function how actually you will solve the same question so what actually you will do if you are if you will not use the map function uh, you will create one more list like this and after that you will uh, for loop the given list like this and what actually you will do you will append and like this a dot append and you want to square right like this and finally you will get the output like this actually you will apply so instead of applying the for loop and all what actually you can do in the single line itself you can get the same result if you already have a function so that is the advantage we get in a, a map function now suppose uh, this square function is not given so what actually i can use i can also use a lambda function which is available right that is an anonymous function so what actually i can do the same result I can also use this with a, a lambda. So how, what actually I will write? First we have to write map. Map accept one uh, function, right? So what we will pass? We will pass a lambda. Lambda will take one argument and and what actually it will do? It will do a squaring, right? It will do a squaring. So what I will write? Squaring. Now this is my function name. So instead of creating this function also. You can use a lambda. Lambda is also a function, right? What actually it is doing? It is doing a squaring, and after that is accept the list. Now if I execute, it is creating a map object, but I want output in a form of list. List I will pass, and if I execute this, you can see I am getting the output. So instead of doing for looping and all, in the single line itself you can get the uh, result. So that is the advantage we get in a map. So whenever you had to apply a function to the all the element in the given list or iterable, you can use a, a map function. So that is all about the map. Now let's understand about the filter. 
so filter generally we use select element based on the condition so suppose I have one use case when you need to remove unwanted values suppose I want to filter even number from a given list means I want to output only the even number suppose my list is given uh, let me create one list 1 3 4 5 6 7 and 9 now in this given list you can see I have only 6 and the 4 is the even number right so I want I want to filter only the even number and I want to exclude all the other number so in this case what actually we can use a we can use a filter function so how filter works filter also works in a similar way what you have to write filter and after that you have to pass the function name whatever the function name uh, we have to pass and after that you have to pass the iterable items like this and now let's solve this so what actually I will do I will create one function and that will find out the even number so let me create one function define even and uh, what actually it will do return and percentile to equal equal to the zero now what actually I will do this is the even so what actually it will do it will only uh, return the even number so let's call this function so if I'll do even and if I'll pass the 3 if I'll execute you can see I'm getting the uh, false this is not a correct so filter only will apply only for the true condition now what I will do I'll use a filter I'll pass this even function and I want to apply into the all the list created the filter object right I want output in a list so I'll reuse a list and if I'll execute you can see 4 and the 6 so it applied this function to the given list and it is only filtering the even number and I'm getting the output those now you should understand the difference between the map and filter so in a map what actually happened in the given list or iterable it apply the condition to the all the element whether it is a whether condition is true or false in the both the cases you will get the result but in the case of filter if the condition is true then only you will get the result so let's take one example suppose I have one given list and list contain true and the false value now what actually I am writing one function I am writing one function and it is checking whether n should be equal to the true so this is the condition I am writing whether the particular element is equal to the true or not so when I am applying a map right so you can see this true is equal to the true right so I am getting a true result but false is not equal to the true right so I am getting the false result means it is applying this condition to the all the element is given risk and the output also is we are getting for the all the element but when I am applying the same condition in the with the help of the filter so whatever the condition this condition is satisfying only for this true right so I am getting the output only for this true so in the case of the filter if the condition is true then only those result you will get as a output but when you will apply a map condition whether the condition is true or false for both you will get the result so that you have to remember the difference now let's understand about the reduce reduce is a sequence to a single value suppose when you need to aggregate value like some product or find the maximum then you can use a reduce so suppose I have given one list one, one 3, 4, 5, 6, something is given. Now what actually I want to do? I want to do the sum of the all the elements. So what actually I can do? I can use a reduce. It will give you the aggregate value. So what I will do? Suppose let me create one function. Summation. This is the function I am creating. A, B. And what actually it is doing? It is returning the A plus a B. Now uh, how actually I can use a radius? I will use a radius and I will pass the function name and I will pass the a list and uh, to use a radius first we have to import one library so I will use from func tool import radius radius now if I will execute this what actually it is doing it is doing the sum 1 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 so it is applying all the element and it is doing the sum and it is giving you the output so when you need to aggregate value like some multiplication and all you can use a uh, reduce 
suppose uh, this is the given list and you want to multiply the each element one by one so what actually I can use uh, I'll use a radius and after that we have to pass the function right so what I will use lambda uh, I, it will take two element a b and I want to do multiplication so what I will do a into b when I want to apply into the all the elements I will use that and if I execute what actually it does it actually multiply all the element and it is giving me the output if you will not use a radius what you have to do you have to loop that and then you have to apply a multiplication and then only you have to do a append so instead of doing this what actually you can do you can use a radius and you will get the result